Hello everyone. Today we will be learning how to create a to-do list in Angular. So let's begin. So I am in my empty project which is new. First I will run the project. Let me end this up. So our project is running in localhost 4200. So I will run it. Ok this is a new project. So first I will link the bootstrap. So I'll go to Bootstrap Official Website. So I have come here. So let me link this first link. Go to back. Go to index.html. And paste it here. Again, I'll go back, copy this, and paste below body, and save it. So, bootstrap has been linked now. So, I have come to my HTML. I'll take div class equals to container and heading. I'll keep to do. So, so let me go to bootstrap forms forms I'll copy this one I'll remove this I don't need this one So this will be our name type will be text again placeholder enter name I'll keep enter your name so name email and city 35 field I need so I'll copy this for email this is for city email and this will be email and here I'll do driver email and your city this will be city So I'll check. We can see it has come. So I want little smaller. So I'll go to my CSS dot container width. I'll keep and it makes sense. Yes, we can see it has become small. So I also need a button. So I'll take a button type submit blue color I'll keep class equals to B BTN BTN primary and this will be Submit. Let me check. Okay, I'll take it on inside a div. Class equals to button. So I'll go to CSS dot button margin top and pixel. 
Uh, we can see here I need a table as well. So now I'll take a new container after this. Last one I'll keep for delete. So for table I'll use class equals to table. So we can see our table has come. Let me put some dummy data in. Now I'll take T body. T R tag. T D. This is the data. Here I'll use Here I'll keep icon. Let me change here. I'll keep input input type equals to button classic classic equals so red color I want so PTN PTN danger I'll keep. Value I keep equals to so let me check. We can see our dummy data is come. So this will be doing dynamic now, it's hard coded. So we will be using ng model for this. To use ng model, we need formal model. So I'll go. Go here for any website. Copy this. Go to have model.ts. Paste it. Copy this and paste and save. So let me use now ng model. Forms model already we have imported. Ng ng model I'll do. 
and keep it as name. Uh, I'll copy this. This I'll use as email. And this one I'll use as city. So we should uh, put this in the TS file. So it's throwing error. I'll go to my TS. So here. Uh, First is city uh, LUS string, then it was name string, and mail head also string. So I will go to my HTML and here on submit. I'll give a click function equal to uh, let let me name a submit only. So I'll go to my TS and give it as submit. So I need a empty array first. Uh, let me name it as data any. Take uh, three parameter um, that is x, y, and z so that it be like this equals to error function. So we need the three arguments there as well in HTML. Three argument I'll keep as name, city, and email only. Name, city, and email. I'll go to my component.ts again. This dot data dot push and use. First one is name that will be ex. Second one was city. That will be y. Third one was email. That is of Z. Let me check data is coming or not. I'll keep console dot log data. And let me inspect and see in our console first. Submit and see data is coming. We can see data is coming. So this is working now. I have to display that here. So I'll comment on the console. Put HTML and ng for will use here. We'll loop it. G4 equals to let data 
and we need a number as well 1 2 3 so i is equal to index l key Right, this will be I plus one copy name. So let me try. You can see data is coming. Uh, here data is not resetting. This I will work. And on cancel, this should delete. This is pending. So I'll go to your component of TS. So this dot name equals to empty this dot city equals to this dot email equals to empty as well so let me check Yeah, it's resetting on submit and now I'll work on this delete. So here also I'll give a click function. Delete. Delete I'll give here mm. equals to B A again arrow functionalities and I equals to this dot data dot index of A. dot splice that is one. so one will be deleted when we delete and I'll go here let me see yeah argument is pending This is the same thing which will be deleted. So let me try. We can see data has come. So I'll delete. We can see data has been deleted. So thanks for watching the video. Thank you.